Hi, James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate Grenache with you today. And I'll talk about this Grenache in a moment, but I really, a word about Grenache. I think that a lot of people, and I talk to um, a lot of consumers out there, I want to know what makes people tick when it comes to wine. What makes things um, open up the cork or maybe uh, put it back um, on the shelf or maybe uh, throw the bottle out. It's really, I think Grenache is a hard grape to get for some uh, characteristics um, based on maybe it's overly buried, maybe it's a berry bond, maybe it's uh, overly committed to strawberry. Uh, whatever it is, I think those commitments are so overpowering for some palates that um, the bottle is put down. Now, I think there's another category of uh, Grenache that I think gets lost as well, which is the one that is highly nuanced. Now, this might be one example that might be in that um, category. Now, for me, I actually prefer the highly nuanced Grenache because I think there's something, uh, a treasury in the palate, if you will. Uh, for me, this is a beautiful wine, and this particular bottle here is um, very light, light in color and uh, light bodied in style. For me, it's just something that is just so lyrical. And I did, and I have said before, and I will say again, it took me a long time to get to Grenache. But once I've been there, I've been very committed to it. Now, this is called Groundwork Santa Barbara County. 2010 vintage, a 14.9% alcohol content. Love the label here, very simple. Back panel for your review. And I, I want to point this out, I want to read it. So I'm just going to read it from the bottle. I, I don't know if it's a poet, a poem from the winemaker, but it, it really kind of gets you in the mood of what Grenache is. So first things first, this is what it says here in the bottle. This Grenache is my point eight, my touchstone. It is the foundation of everything I've done thus far and the inertia behind everything I've yet to do. So it gives you a clue as to what Grenache can be. Now I've opened this up and uh, you can see most of the bottle's gone. It was, it was just such a pleasure to taste this wine and to enjoy it. And it was one where you didn't have to consciously think, oh, I still gotta drink more. It, it was one where you just kept um, levitating the glass to your mouth because it was so amazingly delicious. Here we go, I'll give a taste and a score, uh, but I wanna give you some uh, feedback characteristics or flavor characteristics on this wine, so here we go. Mm. Gorgeous notes here. Now this is definitively in the bramble sap. That means that this is really having beautiful notes from the bramble berries, that is the boysenberry, wild raspberry, tayberry, one of my favorite uh, um, berries that I'm going to get from Oregon when I'm there in, in the summertime. Thyme, white pepper, nutmeg, cardamom, red candy. Not doesn't make it a sweet wine, but it finishes very well. And um, now on the finish on this wine is um, really great notes of what I call soft notes of rose petal in the cool evenings embrace. And I know it sounds really kind of way out there, but I think really when you've experienced that, I, I was a child growing up. I remember my mother's rose garden and. Um, you know, enjoying that scent at evening time when after hot summer, um, uh, hot summer sun, and then the sunset and the, the coolness and, and the beauty that comes in with these flavor characteristics, these scent notes that you get in the wine. So this is a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. You can also think of this as a 92 out of a 100 point scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, Pinterest. Salud.